Welcome to Wake Up with Patty Catter. Come dive into today's episode sponsored by the Patriotic Mermaid. Hello, everybody. You're listening to and watching Wake Up with Patty Catter, and I am your hostess, Patty Catter. I am very excited today, really, because I have this little girl who probably thinks she's a big girl, though, right, Reagan? Uh, I'm <laughs> such a young woman. She's a young woman. I have a young woman on the show. Her name is Reagan, and her mom, Sarah. So, welcome, ladies, to the show. Thank you for having us. Thank You're you. welcome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start talking to Reagan because yes. she reminds me a little bit about me or like <laughs> me when I was a little girl. I was very, um, very outgoing and I, a little bit a uh, rule breaker almost. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you two have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> I never did anything really bad though. And I don't think Reagan has done anything very, very bad, but we could talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> that's another podcast that's a whole other episode <laughs> wow uh, I think you two don't trust me <laughs> Reagan so I don't even know how this came up on my Facebook but your photo popped up on my Facebook one day <laughs> I think I might have had a mutual friend with your mom or something and a picture of you popped up and it was you holding your class picture by chance yeah. you don't have that on you do you um, I should have asked you this. Oh yeah, we should have. We should have brought it. We would. We would have. We would have been at uh, our house, but we're actually I'm house sitting for my sister, so we That's don't have totally, it on hand. Totally okay. What I'll do is we will put it on the screen so our viewers can see it. Perfect. And Reagan, it was a picture of you holding up your school photo. Yeah, it was. Do yeah. you care to reenact that pose? Well, I don't really know how I did it. My mom just like, "Can you pose?" And I like kind of did the same pose. I was like, <laughs> "No, I like tried." It's like depending on the mood, I'll choose the face. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. what did the lady who was taking your picture? What did she say to you when you did that? Did she think that was just your natural look? Well, no. Um, so I was going up the stand, and I we were standing on the thing, and she was looking at me, and I was like, "I have a quick question." She's like, "Yeah, go for it." And, um, so I was asking her, like, um, is it okay if I do, like, a funny face? And she goes, um, no. (laughs) And and I'm like, um, well, at first, like, I thought about it for a little bit. And then I was like, um, well, like, my dad said it was okay and stuff. And she goes, well, did your mom say it was okay? And I'm like, (laughs) good question. (laughs) Like, yeah, 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 she's cool with it. And she's like. Your mom said it was okay. I'm like, just go with it. <laughs> so um, she takes the picture and she's like, you know, I can get in trouble for this. I'm like, oh, okay. And I don't really know what to say because I didn't really care. <laughs> I just want to take my photo. <laughs> and um, she's like, you promise, like you promised me your parents that you're okay with it, that they're okay with it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. She's like, okay, next. (laughs) And then I walk off. And, like, everyone in my class was like, did you do it? I'm like, yeah, I did. And they're like, (laughs) why? Yeah, it was cool. So what was your thought when you made that face? I mean, (laughs) it's a funny face. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So um, me and my mom live with my friend Alma. And Alma, she's, like, the coolest girl. She, like, um, I don't know. Her personality is so awesome. (laughs) And, um. Her faces that she makes is, like, the weirdest faces. So she kind of, like, taught me in a way without teaching me. I just kind of, like, learned. Mm -hmm. So I randomly, just out of the blue, I don't know, I was, like, smiling, like, awkwardly until she took it. She was, like, three, two, one. And I don't know, I was, like. (laughs) So you actually had to hold that face Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was out of it. It was out of the blue. (laughs) And there was, like, two stands next to me. I was in the middle, so both of the people were watching me. In one of the people in my class, I think Lucas, he, his eyes were at me in the in this picture. <laughs> so he had to do retakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see his photo too. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the funniest things I think about the whole photo is what your mom wrote. And I believe she said something like, this, is, this pretty much sums up 2020. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, yes. So I was kind of surprised that 
they didn't make you wear a mask in your picture. That would have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> then they wouldn't have been able to see if she was smiling yeah. and making a face or We what? just got to like take it off and like put it on a rack. Mm-hmm. I, I was just going to ask you that. That was my next question. Like, what yeah. did you do with your mask? So we have these vineyards um, that mm-hmm. the school gave us. And oh, okay. we, yeah, so when we take the picture, we mm-hmm. put our mask on the lanyard and we like hang the lanyard up on a rack. And okay. Then, and we're that done makes sense. Picture. Yeah. Oh, I am so glad that I didn't have to wear a mask when I was in school. I think that would be really hard. Yeah. In the beginning, it was super hard. I kept getting in trouble because mm-hmm. <laughs> I keep like pulling it down like yeah. below my nose. But I've yeah. gotten a lot used to it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So does your mom make funny faces? Um, <laughs> no, I mean, uh, not as funny as yours. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> uh, so Sarah, what did what did you think when you had a conversation with your daughter about her face making for photos? So I was not aware prior to the photo session. <laughs> she didn't tell me afterwards. She was like, Mommy, you know, we have pictures today and I made a funny face. And <laughs> I'm sure I commented like, oh yeah, but I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into it. Mm-hmm. Um and well, told- you, you were like, uh, you got like a little like concerned. You're like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. And then I was like, well, Aiden did it. And Aiden's my brother. And mm-hmm. um, he did it for his fifth grade photos as well as me. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, he yeah. was her inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Along with Alma. So yeah, but I think, I mean, it, it crossed my mind, you know, it's like, hmm, because she also, she's mischievous. She likes to play mm-hmm. jokes and pranks and whatever. And Thanks. so. Um, it was kind of that yeah. mental processing of how serious is she, <laughs> you know, and how bad could this be? Mm-hmm. And then really just kind of forgot about it until she brought home a picture that day, which is also funny because normally I do a digital image mm-hmm. and the past two years we've had some complications with yeah. getting that electronically. And so yeah. this year I was like, I'm just going to buy the package, you know, right. and get, like, the actual tangible yeah. hard copy, which is what she brought home and proudly displayed. So <laughs> that's amazing. So um, in my Facebook group, I asked the question, do you, what would you do as a parent if your child brought a photo home like this? And everybody just, we all agreed that it would be really funny. Um, I can't imagine anybody getting really punished for it Um, because if you, I mean, you know, come on, it's just, it was funny. It it was hilarious. It it sums up life too, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Life in general and 2020 perfectly, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think had she done that any other year, it still would have been funny, but there is mm-hmm. something about 2020 being yeah. what it is. And yeah. It's and it was like my fifth grade year and it's also going to be in the yearbooks. I think that you deserve a whole page in that yearbook. <laughs> oh yeah. They're probably going to like put me in a <laughs> oh she, she is now demanding um a boss water mm-hmm. and Fiji water actually yeah. Yeah. Oh, demands this one now. <laughs> so have you ever thought about an acting career yeah actually yeah when I was little my dad was joking around like you should be an actor I don't know um but I love writing so I actually like write the scripts and wow. my friends yeah, I actually just today presented like this whole presentation with me and my brother. It was pretty funny. And that's um, awesome. I, yeah, I wrote the script and I love writing books, but mm-hmm. yeah. That's great. I think that's fantastic. I have a daughter just like that. So <laughs> you do? If she, yes. If she was your age, you two would be best friends. She's 20. You probably could still be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm shocked you have a 20 year old daughter. Oh my Never goodness, I love that. you. She's my youngest one. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. 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 So um, my daughter's name is Savannah. She's very much like you. And she I loves know. making people laugh. And I think this year, especially in 2020, we need to help each other laugh more. So I appreciate your enthusiasm, Reagan. And I love your school photo. I think it's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Would you like to tell our viewers anything before we end the show? (laughs) Um, I would say stay yourself and don't let like anyone take your passion away. You know, just keep making the funny faces. (laughs) Very smart. 
Sarah, what about you? Do you have any advice for parents who have rambunctious children who are very happy and um, outgoing? (laughs) Um, And strong will. That's definitely a part. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I I laugh all the time. I say, you know, she's either going to be like this amazing, brilliant leader (laughs) Or a sociopath. (laughs) (laughs) I think she's going to be a great leader. I think so too. No, I think so too. And so I guess uh, not that I have parenting figured out by any means, but um, for people with strong-willed children, um, you know, I I think that they have all of these great qualities that it's just about trying to direct it towards positive things, right? Um, trying to identify what their individual strengths are and really honing those and and celebrating them, you know, for who they are. Yeah. Yeah. Reagan, do me a favor and send me some of your writing. I would like to read it. (laughs) Uh, We'll have to send you the video that she just did with her brother. Oh, that would be fun. I would love to see that. (laughs) Definitely. All right. Well, thank you ladies so much for taking some time out of your schedule to be on the show. And I know this is a super short episode, but I just really wanted to highlight your enthusiasm for life, Reagan. I think it's amazing. (laughs) And I love that your mom supports you and your love of life. I think that's so important for us to remember the little things and the fun things in life. So thank you both. There's always something to laugh at and be grateful for, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us, Patty. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you, ladies. And have a wonderful day. Thank you. And everyone, thank you so much for listening. And don't forget, you can tune, on, tune in on, I don't know, 19 something radio stations across the US, Amazon TV, and Roku. And everybody, again, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in every Friday. Thank you for listening to Wake Up with Patty Catter. Be sure to visit www.pattycatter.com for the latest articles, podcasts, and swag.